In this video, I'll show you how you can have more than one quiz in one e-learning course using your LMS. So a common question that comes up is, you know, how do I have multiple quizzes in, let's say, a multi-module Adobe Captivate e-learning course and have, of course, the ability to report the separate results of each individual quiz. It's kind of a problem and it's not necessarily an Adobe Captivate issue, but rather an issue related to the e-learning reporting formats that are available, certainly with SCORM. Uh, I've not run into it with XAPI, but my belief of course is that one module equals one quiz and that's all there really is you can do about it. But you could accomplish this by doing the setup portion of this in your learning management system. I'm using Adobe Captivate Prime as an example, but you could probably do this, at least in the LMSs that I've, I've used in the past, you could probably do this in just about any learning management system worth its weight. So the first thing we need to do, of course, here I am logged into my CaptivateTeacher.com Adobe Captivate Prime account. And of course, I just want to be able to um, add these three modules. Each one has its own quiz to a single course that's being put together. So the first thing we need to do is add our content here. So I need to be logged in, of course, as an author in this case here, which I'll make the switch here. And I'm going to create some content. So we're going to start off here and we will call this three module course, M1 for module one. To keep things simple, I'll put the same in the description and I'll click on the file selection functionality, go to my desktop and there's module one.zip. We'll upload that. And uh, you could put additional things in, depending on your LMS, the duration, the tags. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now that content is saved successfully. I'm also going to add the module two version of this course here. So we'll just change the one to two. We'll copy that in here. And we'll do the same thing for our second published Adobe Captivate project. Good, hit save. And we'll add one more for our third module. Call that three and three here. So each one contains uh, a quiz. It's just a very simple example where it's a single multiple choice question for each of these. Uh, but that's pretty much all we need to test for in this case here. So we've got all three modules uploaded. The next thing, and, th and this is the thing a lot of people sometimes struggle with is, what is a module and what is a course? Well, we've created our modules. Now we're gonna go to courses, my courses, and we will add a new course. And I will just put in three module course, put an E on the end there, and we'll add that in here. We could put in a detailed overview. And now we have the content section of developing our course. So we're going to add the modules from the repository of modules that have been uploaded here. So self-paced module. And we can select three module course M1 and click on add. We'll add another module self-paced module, module two, and we'll go ahead and add that there. And we'll go and get our third module, simple enough, add those all there. And we'll go ahead and save this and publish it. You could optionally add a cover image or a banner image. And we'll go ahead and hit save here. And we can pick a skill, we'll just call this general. And this is worth three credits, let's say. Learners can self-enroll, learners can unenroll themselves. 
Uh, you could put in prerequisites, whatever it is that, that is required here. And then we'll hit save. Oh, cannot be more than max credits. Well, let's just make that one credit then. So our course has been saved successfully. Are we good with this? Yep, everything's fine. We'll go ahead and publish. So if we wish to take this as a learner now, we'll switch to a learner profile and take a look for that course. Uh, it's not here, but we can do a search for it. Three module course. There it is there. And you'll see here that module two and module three are locked until I complete module one. But let's go ahead and start module one. We'll continue and automatically enroll. And once we get past that, we can go to our, our question here and hit submit, get it correct, finish the first module, get 100%, hit continue. And this will now take us on automatically to the second module. If I exit from this point, obviously it will bookmark my project and I'll be able to see how far I've gotten in the completion of this course. But I'll return here and of course can then launch automatically the second module and we'll be able to answer the questions for that. And of course that will unlock my third module and allow me to complete the entire course. And this way I can report on quiz results for each of the modules individually, but also the course as a whole. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.